What's up, man? It's your boy OTK Dad, and this is Lyric Breakdown 305. Y'all tune in. I'm from the know you. Well, I'm from Brown Sub, you feel me? But a part of Brown Sub, what well, we call it, the know you. No. It was hard. It was a challenge because back then when I was younger, you feel me? Like being the type of person I was bred to be, it was like, you know, I was looked that bad, you know, so it was kind of hard for people to accept me, but, you know, my man, I'm down here. How long is usually take to make a song? Probably about like 20 to 30 minutes. My inspiration behind Righteously, um, you know, I was going through something at that time. And I felt like, you know, nobody ain't want to, I feel like people ain't really want to hear me or care for how I feel. So, you know, that's how when I first found my way of venting through music, I put it in this song, you feel me? Out of all my songs, I feel like to pick the breakdowns because this song was misunderstood, basically, like, when, when I released it, you feel me? Like, people ain't... People ain't, ain't, ain't receive it the way I want them to receive it. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like this is a chance for me to, you know, break it down in the 305 way. I got real street niggas that's gonna go for me. And they won't let just any nigga get too close to me. I'm gonna forever keep it real, ain't gotta question me. Don't let them people tell you nothing that ain't righteously. Cause niggas dying in my city like it's righteously. So I keep that pole, I'ma blow this bitch righteously. Basically, what I meant by that is, you know, like, when I'm from, you know, like, the person I am, I feel like, you know, I got, you know, it's right now in the generation going on, you know, it's a lot of faking going on. So I just feel like I got real street niggas. Like, I got real niggas. Not the fake, you feel me? Like that's gonna that's gonna go by me. That's gonna stand beside me through whatever. And they ain't gonna let just any nigga get too close to me with fake love, you feel me? And I'm gonna keep it like that. You feel me? Don't let them people tell you nothing that ain't righteously. Cause in my city, you feel me, like, you know, niggas dying. They, like it ain't nothing, you feel me? So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I catch a body for my niggas, and I mean that. We were knocking niggas down like where your team at? You won't smoke? Just make sure you really mean that. Cause when I swerve and bust this bitch, you won't be coming back. Nothing but murder, 211, and I'm running that. My niggas ain't coming back, so my niggas ain't sparing nothing. Shooters in the studio, shit look like go to state or something. What I was saying is like, you know, I got your body for my niggas, you feel me? And I mean that, you feel me? And like, back then how it was, you feel me? Before it is right now, it was a team, you feel me? And we had power, you feel me? We was, we was the doers, you feel me? It was us stepping. So I just feel like this shit different from where I was before. And then we still got them shooters around, we changed the rapper now. Or oh, I say shooters in the studio, she look like go to state or something. When I get them diamonds, bitches, act like you don't owe me nothing. Act like we was never thugging. Bitch, you was my fucking brother. You let that hate touch your heart, now I'm like, fuck you. You do the time, I do the crime, no, it ain't nothing. That's basically was, you feel me, like, at that time, like I told you, I was going through something, you know, in my inner circle, you feel me, and I just felt some type of way about something. And you know, and I tried to address the issue, you know, and try to talk about it. I just felt like, like I say, people wasn't hearing me, you feel me? Like my circle wasn't hearing me at that time. So, you know, I had to like really address that out. Like to everybody, like, listen, we all equal, you feel me? Let's all pay attention to each other, really. But, you know, I just felt like it was took the wrong way, you know, as in if, you know, 
you know, it was a fuck you. It wasn't really a fuck you, you know. It was just basically like, you know, like shit, like, bro, like, let's take this shit back to what it is, you feel me? Like, we all as one, you feel me? We equal. You miss one T, so why the fuck you think we spinning? You ain't trying to help a nigga, so why the fuck you looking for me? What the fuck you think this is? You ain't gonna do me like them niggas. I kept that shit to real, I just don't fuck with certain niggas. Niggas know that I'm a realist, and they understand my vision. They don't text you when you down, but they call you when you winning. Bitches act like they was down, but I got up when I got sinners. And still through it all, I'ma go back for my niggas. I'ma go back for my niggas. Tenace, Tenace, one T, you know, that was my little brother, you feel me? Like, I just felt like, you know, at that time, you know, I was I was really thinking about Tenace, and I just felt like if Tenace was here, you feel me? Like, what would he think? You feel me? What would he say? And everybody know what he would have said, you feel me? How he would have felt about how I felt, you feel what I'm saying? That's all, that's really why, that's how it came out, you feel me, at that time. And I actually was saying that in the studio, like, off the top, really, you feel me, in the booth. So... That's basically what that's going there with that what that was going there with that. And I was basically saying, like, you know, if you ain't trying to help me, you feel me, ain't no point in looking for me. That's in general to anybody. You feel me? And people like when you down, people like, they don't text you, you feel me? They don't call you, none of that. But when you winning, they gonna call you, they gonna they gonna text you, all that when you winning. You feel me? And bitches was people in general was acting like they was down. But when I got sent it, when I got that time. They don't they want nobody that really like that, but a fruit. And that's word on my soul, it's forever guys. Disrespect my nigga in this war, I'ma burn your ass. Nigga play the game, how they play it, but stay in your lane. I'm just a crash to you like it's nothing to explain. You ride, know you dying, hope that answer never changed. Yeah, you know you my little bro, it just can't tell you certain things. And I was basically addressing that as, and you know, in general, basically, like, like I said, like about gas, you know, venting about gas, you know, speaking out on on that, you feel me, and just and a lot of anger built up inside of me, you know, I was hearing things about, you know, shit was being said about, bro, anyway, so I was kind of putting that out there, anyways, you feel what I'm saying, a lot of shit, how I was feeling, what was coming to my heart at that time, feel me? Yeah, this OTK Dad, and this is Lyric Breakdown 305. You can find me on Facebook, Killer Love, Instagram, OTK Dad, and um, OTK Dad on all platforms. And SoundCloud, OTK Dad 305. My project, my album, 2020 dropping New Year's, and merch will be coming out in between those two dates, so y'all look into that. And they won't let just any nigga get too close to me. I'ma forever keep it real, ain't gotta question me. Don't let them people tell you nothing that ain't righteous me. Cause niggas dying in my city like it's righteously So I keep this pole, I'ma blow this bitch righteously I'll catch a body for my